I'm Edward Morgan and I'm a beef and sheep farmer. The farm was actually bought by my grandfather uh, back in the early 1970s and my father has continued to farm beef and sheep through that time and my brother and myself have now taken over the main running of the farm. So a few years ago we decided to go into poultry production and um, decided to put up two poultry units. Um, currently we've got about 80,000 chicks on site at the moment. In the poultry house itself, uh, the computer system works a ventilation, which obviously uses uh, uh, electricity. Gas is our main heating source at the minute. Electric fans keeping the temperature to a uh, set level. Uh, po possibly in the future, we'll be looking at installing electric heaters into the shed to use more of the electricity that we're obviously producing from the wind turbine. We initially looked at other wind turbines as well as the Endurance. Um, probably uh, what sort of swung it was that um, Endurance seemed to have the history uh, behind the turbine, which um, we were quite interested in. When you're investing quite a bit of money, you need some backup as well. So we, we, we decided uh, Endurance was the, was the best way to go. We went to a couple of open days, um, one up in Manchester at a renewable energy um, um, event and also um, Aeolus had an open day up at Shrewsbury where we actually went and saw a turbine in operation. I think probably that's one of the best ways to actually see a turbine is go and actually look at it and see for yourselves what you think of it and talk to the you know, talk to the farmer and uh, have his opinion on it as well. It was very useful and I would recommend that to anybody that's thinking about putting one up. We were quite impressed on how quiet the wind turbine was, being up close to it. Aeolus have found to be a very good company to work with. We saw Pete at the Royal Show, which is just down the road from us. Uh, he came up, um, took a look at the site, etc. Well, as you've probably seen from this morning, he's pretty relaxed and pretty not over pushy on the sale, which is, you know, one good thing. I think he's probably got a, it's a good product, so he doesn't need to push it. The girls in the office and that are always very good at organising and we've never had a problem. It's been nice to have a company that you can work with like that and you know, you're, you're putting a lot of investment into some things that you want to have confidence that the company you're working with is be able to provide the best that they can. Obviously energy prices are rising and will, will rise in the future so it seemed a good idea to try and put something renewable into effect that would reduce our costs in the future which we don't have no control over. I've obviously got my uh, son Lloyd, hopefully the, the farm will be there for when he's older, whether he'll be interested in taking over the farm or not we, we'll wait and see but I hope that the endurance turbine will uh, still be up and running when he's old enough to take over the farm in 20 odd years time and uh, who knows we might be having more turbines by then. Mm -hmm.